Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Classic X-Men Issue 7 and Marauders Issue 22. The first issue is written by Chris Claremont. It's part of his 1980s Golden Age on the X-Men. And the second issue is written by Jerry Dugan. So what we're going to talk about is the rise of Sebastian Shaw and how he took over the inner circle of the Hellfire Club. That is what basically happens in the X-Men Classic issue. While Jerry Duggan revisits this story and we learn a pretty dark secret that Sebastian Shaw didn't know went down during that night when he took over the Hellfire Club. So the story starts off, we have Edward Buckman who is the White King of the Hellfire Club and Sebastian Shaw the Black King. Basically, they're the leaders of two different factions within this organization. The thing is that obviously everyone tied to Sebastian Shaw are mutants. While the White King secretly seems to really hate mutants and wants to get them all out of the Hellfire Club. So what happens is we have Shaw at the Hellfire Gala when he gets word from Emma Frost that one of Stephen Lang's sentinels is attacking his home. Shaw goes to his wife who is a teleporter and tells her, look, we have to teleport back. And she tells Shaw, look, I don't know if I can teleport that far and with that many people because also Tessa was with them. And we get to see this more abusive side to Sebastian Shaw. He actually starts choking his home wife to force her to teleport. This will be elaborated on in the Marauders issue. So the thing is, Shaw and company start fighting against the Sentinel. Lourdes, his wife, gets shot by this giant robot. She ends up dying. So what happens is, in a fit of blind rage, Sebastian Shaw goes back to the Hellfire Club. Him and his associates basically kill everyone loyal to the White King. And he basically executes Buckman taking full control over the Hellfire Club. And I have to say that this whole scene in the classic X-Men issue is surprisingly violent for a comic that came out in 1986. So now we jump to the Marauders issue and we have this conversation between Sebastian Shaw and the White Queen. And he tells Emma, look, I really want Lourdes Chantel, my wife, to go through the resurrection protocol. I have no idea why she has not been brought back yet. And Emma Frost actually drops the bomb revelation that Lourdes did not die on that night. That she was alive and well and in hiding. So we get a flashback to the past where we really get to see how abusive... Shaw was as a husband. Lourdes had gone to Emma pleading for help. And Emma Frost tells her, look, we women have to protect each other and I'll find a way to get you to disappear. We will put you in hiding, but we have to wait for the exact moment. Then the story jumps to the whole attack of the Sentinel on Shaw's house. Emma Frost is like, it's now or never. She fakes the death of Lourdes. Using her mind control powers, she just implants the memory of everyone present that Lourdes died. Then the story cuts to Emma asking this favor to Kingpin, telling him, look, I need to hide this woman. She has teleportation powers, so they might be of some use to you. Now, the interesting thing outside of the fact that Kingpin is the one responsible for hiding Shaw's wife from him is the fact that slowly but surely they're going to incorporate Kingpin into the Krakoan era of the X-Men due to the fact that he's married to Typhoid Mary. Kingpin will end up seeking refuge on Krakoa for a while. But for now, we're going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.